Oh, he's cooking. So we won't be here for it. I need to uh, shoot off. Today's a really fun day. I've been asked by Bobby Frankham to take photographs of his epic airship journey over the centre of Bedford to the Cardington hangars. And then he's going to depart the hangars and then fly up to an airfield in Bedfordshire at Little Stoughton. So the plan it really is to go over there and try and get as many angles of the airship as I can. Um, the hangars were built in 1916 and uh, the site was owned by the Short Brothers and they bought the land there to build airships for the Admiralty. It was nationalised in 1919 and became known as the Royal Airship Works. And uh, just before the war, Cardington started building barrage balloons and it became the number one RAF balloon training unit during World War II, responsible for storage and training of balloon operators and pilots. So I've got the speed bar on to get over there quickly. So there's the airship just in front of the hangars. And as I arrive, I um, got there a little bit later than I expected, but um, the balloon came down and, and landed for a while. So I just kind of hung around and then um, waited for the balloon to take off and uh, got my fancy camera out and took a load of photos. So if you want to see those photos, there's a link in the description and um, feel free to uh, have a look at those. I'll include a few photos at the end of the video as well, so you can uh, just hang around and uh, see those as well. So it's a bit murky, it's a bit of a shame, I was hoping it was going to be sunny, but um, we've got very, very light winds, ideal for an airship. Um, nil wind takeoff on the power motor. Temperature is probably just above zero, so quite cold, um, but no winds at all, so it's um, easy to fly around. So I'm, the challenge for me is to get photographs of the airship in front of the hangars, but also keep safe. So, you know, keep try and keep away from those houses as much as I can. Keep bear in mind uh, an, an out if my engine fails at any point, where am I going to land? So keeping that in mind. Also, there are two drones flying around. I'll show you some drone footage in, in a second. Uh, there's a Cessna plane flying around also taking videos and photos. So uh, a lot going on, plus there's a weather station, there are some masts that I need to be careful not to hit on the right hand side there. So um, a lot going on, a lot to process, and um, but a lot of fun at the same time. So keeping my mind on safety as, a, as the most important thing. So Jeff also has his drone, so um, in a minute you'll see, I, I only spotted it when he switched his light on, I didn't really um, see it very much because it's so small so there's the drone and uh, captured some footage of me flying with the airship which is absolutely awesome so cheers Jeff Soden for doing that he's got a DJI Mavic 3 and I just love the quality of these um, this drone footage it's really great I am mindful not to be in the face of the airship for too long. So I'll come over here, do a bit of low flying and kind of wait for the airship to get a bit more altitude so I can get some decent air to air shots with the hangars in the background. And I try and stay on the um, this side of it, the hangar side, so that I can get a good view. So at this point I'm here, I'm just, as I said, just, just waiting around. And I see the airship has gained some altitude, so I go up. There's the Cessna also taking photos, which I'm mindful of. So at this point, the airship has now left. Cardington is now flying over central Bedford, where I join Lee and Ed and Gary. And um, from that point onwards, I take a few more photos over the town so I can get, get some shots with the town underneath. And then uh, at this point, I'm actually really, really cold and uh, still got the uh, the bacon sandwiches in my mind so I fly back to Little Granston and the guys there very kindly um, make some tea and uh, provide bacon sandwiches so uh, thoroughly enjoyable thanks for asking me Bobby for taking the photos I really enjoyed doing it and if you enjoyed that don't forget to hit the like button helps other people find the channel and as I said the link to the photos is in the description